channel my name is Steph and I'm a mum of nearly three boys my third boy is due to arrive in June so not long to go now and I was just um sorting out my wardrobe I was basically just wanting to hoover out all my wardrobe um and change like the shoes around now it's coming into spring summer I just wanted to have a little bit of organized in there um I think I'm nesting as well I think that's what <laughs> It's just making me clean like extra than normal um but yeah i just all the baby boy stuff is in my wardrobe currently and i just obviously had to get it all out to hoover and yeah laid it all on my bed and i just thought before i put it all away let me do a little newborn baby haul so i've got a mixture of clothes from zara h&m next and i think i've got a couple of bits from asda as well so i will show you everything of what i've got so far i do have some other bits like sleeping bags and the moses basket next to me cribs um buggy and stuff like that but i'm not sure if everyone will be interested in seeing all of those sort of things but i will do it like a nursery tour once the nursery is done and yeah that you will know where everything's from so let's just crack on into this so i'll start off with h&m i've got the most stuff from h&m at the moment so i'll start off with those h&m i've got these three little hats they're like little bear hats little bear ears they did arrive and i thought they were quite big so he's not going to be in these straight away even though they're not two months i feel like my babies are quite small they range from six to seven pounds when they're born so um yeah he won't be in these straight away but i just thought the little ears on them were so cute i'm not a fan of the ones with like the knotted top i feel like they look like a teletubby when they wear one of those so or a condom it just looks like a condom on their head so i'm not yeah i'm not keen on the knotted tops so i thought these were cute little cotton hats um with the little ears on and they're like a, a dark charcoal gray a lighter gray and like a creamy color um i they don't have the um price tags on so i'll leave all the price to everything in the links below i got two packs of socks so these ones i've just got a pack of all white socks they're up, are they upside down no they're upside down the other way around um a little three pack of white socks and these neutral socks which i thought were really cute these are to go with some little outfits that i've got in from h&m and then these little socks they come in a little box like this, which I think is really cute. These were a little bit more expensive. These were, I think these were about $7.99 for four pairs of socks, which is quite pricey for baby socks, but they are just adorable. They're little knee-high socks. Look, the size of them. They are so tiny. I can't believe these little legs are going to be in there. And they come in um, all different colours. So all these lovely colours which I think are adorable and I just love the packaging that's come in. It'll be a lovely gift if you got that for someone. So with those um, neutral coloured socks, I got some little outfits in sort of these neutral colours. Um, you got a pack of five. Oh, I just dropped some. So it comes in a pack of five. So you get five outfits basically. Um, which is which I think is great and they come in all different colours so you get the little top like this it's just a little long sleeve and it's just a little wrap all in one and then you get the matching leggings to go with them which I think are so cute I love all the colours as well of these so they come in sort of that brownie beigey colour a lighter beigey colour which really cute comes in a gray as well and then you get two let's put those there you get two little cream pairs and then the little the little leggings so i think they are so cute and obviously you can mix them obviously you can mix and match the tops and the bottoms i think the whole set for five was about 15 pounds but I think that's such a good price for five little outfits you know you've got one well i say you've got one for every day you haven't have you because by the time they poo or 
have an explosion of put milk down them. You're changing your baby about three times a day. <sighs> I just got some little um, vests from there. So they're obviously with the vest that you put under a baby grow, you can't really wear as, um, they can't really wear as a top. You can kind of tell it's a vest. So I just picked up these little t-shirts which just have the sort of round neck. So he can wear them as a t-shirt without looking like he's got his vest on. Um, so I just got a pack of three. So I got a blue, a blue, a grey, um, a blue and a white. And yeah, they were they were really reasonable. I love H&M vests. That's where I always get all my vests from, either H&M or Next. Um, but yeah, so he's got little little t-shirt tops there just to wear with, um, if it gets hot, he can sort of wear them with the leggings. And rather than have a long sleeve, he's got some short sleeves and they, he can just wear these with sort of leggings and little shorts. Next from H&M, I just got a little plain white t-shirt. Look how tiny it is. It is just so, it's so small. Just a little plain white t-shirt just to wear in the daytime with a little pair of shorts. Um, these little leggings, they're just plain black. Look at the size of them. They are just so cute. Just little plain black leggings. Um, they were like 2 99 They're so cheap. Um, but they're just cotton. They're just a little bit softer on the babies than a sort of a pair of jeans on a newborn. And then these little harem trousers with the little buttons on, which I think are so... But look how wide the legs are. I mean, that's really wide, isn't it? Hopefully that he'll be all right in time. <laughs> Not like pull his legs apart. But yeah, little hurrying bottoms. I think they're so, so sweet. h and I just got some little Peter Pan collared vests. So just with sort of like the frill detail at the top. Just because I've got him some knitted shorts from um, Zara. And I thought these little vests will look nicer than just a plain, plain vest. So he's got those to wear with his little shorts. And I think the little knitted shorts, this and the little long socks is just going to look adorable. Um, so I got a short sleeved one of those and I also got a little long sleeved Peter Pan collar as well. I love those collars, I just think they are so sweet. And then I got him three, obviously he's being born in June so it's obviously going to get warmed, it's going to get warm. So I just got him a pack of three little short all in ones. Um, which I think are ideal. These were really cheap as well. So I've got a pack of three of those. So they've got a white, a grey. It's really bad lighting in here. I'm not sure what's going on with my light. Um, and a blue. So yeah, they're all, he's all sort of sorted for the warmer weather then. He's um, all little vests. And bits from Next or H&M. But I went into Asda the other day for something different, not baby stuff. And I found these little vests for £2.75. So it's just a pack of three of vests that they wear under their baby grows. And no one's going to see them. And they just, well, if they have a poo explosion, that's it. You've got to throw them in the bin. So for £2.75, I grabbed a pack of those. And they also come in tiny baby. My babies um, always start off in tiny baby clothes well the other two did so I'm just assuming that <laughs> this one will as well we, we don't really have big babies and then I just got for his darker baby grows just a blue white and grey as well and they're a little bit more expensive at £3.50 but I thought they were absolute bargain so I got those and also I found a pack of three bibs which were £3.50 and they're a really nice pattern. They've got little stars, stripes and just a plain grey one. So I picked those up. I was looking for a hospital hat for him because a lot of the hospital hats are too big for their heads where I've brought them before. I've got a tiny little head and Austin's got a small head. So we're definitely not going to have a big head baby. And every time I get hospital hats, they're always too big. So I picked up this one from Etsy and it looks like the perfect little size. Look how cute. It is so cute. And I love this little um, little wooden heart on the front. I think that is so adorable. 
and that came so quick as well and it's um it's sort of it's a newborn hat so it should fit him perfectly but it is just so cute look oh, that's probably like my favorite item next thing i got was some bib dummies i've never heard of bib dummies until i was pregnant with this baby they look like this and you can get all different colors so i've just gone for like the neutral colors that's sort of like a creamy one really reasonable they're probably cheaper than normal dummies they do sort of have the old-fashioned um tea and then i got this this little wooden dummy clip is just from amazon for about two pounds i think i paid for that and the, the dummies i think were no more than two pound each either so i've just got two of those because i'm not sure how he's going to get on with them because i always give my babies mum dummies um so yeah i just got two for now just to see because they look quite big they are naught to six months they didn't have any sort of newborn sizes so it might be a little bit too big so i'm going to take one to the hospital as well as a newborn mam dummy and just see which one he takes to but i thought they're really really nice i love it on like the wooden dummy clip it looks really good moving on to zara zara baby has to be my favorite place to get baby clothes from i get all the boys clothes from zara they always wash up lovely um yeah i'm just a sucker for zara kids <laughs> Um, so I've got him a few little bits from Zara. So I got this little top. It's just a little stripe, and it's got some little wooden buttons on the side. So I thought the, the this will look really cute with those little harem bottoms from H and M with the um, wooden buttons on. That was seven ninety nine, and I got this little set. So it's just a blue little bottoms like this. I never normally dress my babies in blue, but I don't know. I've got a few, couple of little blue things this time. And um, this little top, which is really cute with the little buttons on the side as well. This I actually got from eBay, um, but it's still online on Zara as well. I don't think they change the newborn stuff up too often so this is still definitely online but yeah i got this one on ebay and never been worn came with the tags on so yeah really pleased with that it's definitely worth having a look on ebay for newborn stuff i mean for this instance this lady was selling that piece and she basically thought she was having a baby girl and it turned out to be a baby boy and so she had loads of baby boy stuff to sell. So yeah, definitely worth taking a look on there. I got these, I mean, look at them. <laughs> these little shorts. Oh, I just love anything with like a little romper bottom. They are so cute. They're a really soft knitted pattern. They're 12 lines nice. So they are pricey, but oh, I couldn't resist. They are so cute. And I got another pair in blue again they are just look at them so cute with the little long socks oh so so sweet lastly from next i got basically just baby grows i always get my baby grows from next sort of the all-in-one ones um because i just love their patterns from next and again they just wash up so nice um so i've got a pack of three for 16 pounds and it's this little milk print which i think is so adorable so sweet so it comes with this little milk print this little white one with stars on which again i love and it come with this little bambino one as well oh so cute so sweet and i always get the first size in next that's the perfect i mean roman and mason were both in first sizes when they were born and they still had plenty of room so this little baby should be absolutely fine and i found some again on ebay i found brand new ones from next which are still available on the website and they're just little white ones so i've got a pack of four i'm not sure how much they retail for oh it's not this look it's 
like a little stripe there we go um i'm not sure how much these retail for but i've got a pack of four for again so cheap and it's got a little white one with clouds on which is so cute um a little plate just a little plain white one and one with little stars on which is so sweet as well so they were from ebay and another another one from ebay as well was a little i've got a little set where's the little vest so i got the little it was like a four piece set so i got the little um star print it's got little navy blue stars on which is so lovely and it comes with a little matching hat these are the hats that i'm not really keen on with the little knots at the top but it come with the hat and it's got a little matching bib as well which is really sweet and it did come with a little vest as well a little um blue vest to put underneath but i'm not sure where it is it's in the pile somewhere um so yeah that's all i got well i say all i got he's got a lot of stuff there he's also got stuff from which i had left over from roman um that's all downstairs sort of needs to be washed so but yeah he's got another few baby grows left which i kept from roman and a few other little um bottoms and tops so he should have plenty to get him going um i probably won't buy it anymore i say this <laughs> i probably won't buy any more clothes but i probably will um but yeah i probably i will be a little bit more you know i know he's sort of set he still need i still need to get his coming home outfit um he's got his little hat so i just need to get the little baby grow i just want to get sort of a plain white baby grow with his initials on but because we're not 100 percent settled, settled on a name yet i can't get his baby grow because obviously it's going to be embroidered with his initials so once we are 100% on a name, we do have a name in mind, but I've still got another 10 weeks left and anything can change. So yeah, we're keeping it to ourselves for the meantime. And once we're 100%, well, I probably won't share it. I probably won't share his name until he's born. But yeah, just with close family and friends. But yes, I think we have his name and Obviously, I'm in sort of the process of doing his nursery. Um, so once that's done, I will do a little nursery tour for you. And also, I'm doing the boys' bedrooms because they're going to be sharing a room. So we're ordering bunk beds soon. And I will do a little tour on their new bedroom as well. So thank you so much for watching. And I will catch up with you all soon. Hope you all had a fabulous week.